Welcome to our Tech Insights video. Today we're tackling a question that many data scientists and developers encounter. Our viewer is curious about a specific issue. Even though XGBoost is compiled to utilize GPU resources, it seems to be running on the CPU when accessed through the Scikit-Learn API. Is this expected behavior? Let's dive into this intriguing topic and uncover the details together. Welcome back to another technical video. We're gonna go through the question, the answer, and I hope that you get the solution. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and work your way through to getting to that end resolution. Let's get started. Let's address the issue of XGBoost not utilizing the GPU when called through the Scikit-Learn API. First, it's important to confirm that you have the correct version of XGBoost installed that supports GPU. Next, ensure that your environment is set up correctly for GPU usage. This includes having the appropriate CUDA toolkit installed and configured on your system. Now, when using the Scikit-Learn API, you need to specify the use of the GPU explicitly. This can be done by setting the tree method parameter to GPU hist. Finally, after making these adjustments, run your model and monitor the GPU usage. You can use tools like NVIDIA V to check if the GPU is being utilized during training. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The Scikit-Learn API doesn't currently support GPU for XGBoost. Instead, you should use the Learning API and convert your data into an XGBoost D-matrix first. However, there's an update. The Scikit-Learn API now supports GPU through the Quarks argument. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To enable GPU support for XGBoost with the Scikit-Learn API, the user cloned the latest version from GitHub and compiled it with specific flags. They faced some build and runtime errors due to architecture mismatches, but resolved them by adjusting NVCC flags for their GTX 960. After building, they installed it using PIP and provided a code snippet to use the XGBC classifier with GPU support. They also shared detailed steps for fixing build issues on Ubuntu. The user outlined several troubleshooting steps, including installing the correct version of the CUDA toolkit, updating CUDA, and ensuring NVCC is in the system path. And that's it guys. We've gone through, I hope you found your resolution and found the answer you're looking for. If it helped, please hit subscribe, really appreciate it. And be on the lookout for more technical help videos. Have a good one.